What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Mike Too Fit, Michael Martin. It's been about a year since I've posted, if not longer. Don't even know why I stopped. As soon as I got back from Vegas, I'd put on some water weight and for some reason just kind of fell off with just recording. Just kind of threw me out of my routine of picking up the camera and talking to you guys, but we're back. That's the important part. Everything with life is just going to be ups and downs and it's going to be a matter of just getting back into it. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. It's just more of just a life update type video. I am kind of tweaking a little bit. I've taken my pre, so let me just try to stabilize the camera as much as possible. But yeah, we're just back in the swing of things, man. We're sitting at about 195, fluctuating around 200 pounds. We're almost probably the leanest I've ever been, at least in a long time. I said I was going to bulk, and I bulked up to probably about 205 and then it just kind of killed my confidence with recording and everything. It just feels like it makes everything so much harder. Honestly, it's probably more mental than anything. I mean, you guys know how it is. Like you see the best physiques on social media all the time and it has kind of taken a toll on me this last year or so, but I've actually learned a lot about myself as well. As much as I think social media can be a bad thing at times by giving unrealistic expectations and you know, things of that nature. And you might give in to pressures of different things or feeling like you always have to be lean or feeling like you constantly have to get bigger and bigger or just anything like that. It's also a good thing though, because for me at least, it feels that I have to keep getting better and better and it motivates me to keep getting better and better. So that aspect of it, I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing. At least for me, I'm a very competitive individual. So having better people that I see all the time, like even my own friends that I know through social media and stuff like that, I see their content and they continually see get better. And it motivates me to get better and to pick up the camera and just, like I said, get back into the swing of things, man. So that's what we're doing. Quite a bit has changed since the last time I made a video. Quite a bit has changed. Starting off, I have a dog now. He was a puppy. But he's, he's about a year and a half now, so he, he's kind of big. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys him later. Um, we're just headed to the gym right now. That's why he's not with me. But other than that, I pretty much always have him with me, except for when I'm at work. He's been one of the best things that has happened to Lex and I. So, and yes, Lex and I are still together, still going strong, and uh, still learning about each other, honestly. As much as uh, I would love to say things are perfect all the time, they're not. And that has a lot to do with me because I have so much stuff going on and it's been trying to find the balance of just everything in life, you know? My schedule right now is honestly pretty insane. I get up at 3.30 in the morning, get to the gym by 4 a.m., work out from 4 a.m. to 5.30, drive home, eat, shower, go to work from 7 to 3.30, and that's if I get off on time. Lately, I've been getting stuck working a lot of overtime and stuff like that. Then when I get home, I take Hiccup on a walk. Lex and I take Hiccup on a walk. And yes, that is his name is Hiccup. And you guys will see exactly why later. Yeah, take him on a walk. And then I come back, eat. And then I'm usually working on um, some things in the background that's going to be coming up soon. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And then usually for about 6 to about 8.30 is Lex and I just relaxing, watching TV, watching a show, movie, and uh my ass has to get to bed by 8.30 or else I'm going to be exhausted. And me being exhausted is not good for anyone near me. <laughs> so I feel like I can barely function. And uh, it really fucks me up while I'm at work too. So you guys know I work for a utility company. So I do a lot of hand digging and stuff like that. It's a lot of construction work. So being tired just doesn't feel the greatest when you're digging holes. So and if you guys think that I don't take pre-workout in the morning, you guys are crazy. If I didn't have pre-workout in the morning, I don't think I'd ever function properly. Yeah, man, life's been life's been good. It's just been a lot of figuring things out on my own. That has been the biggest thing lately, just trying to find my own way in life. You know, not depending on other people to give me a handout or anything like that. And right now, I moved into my grandma's house about a year ago. So like I said, the last video I made I don't think I was even here yet, so it's probably been over a year. But yeah, I'm living at my grandma's house. My grandma had just turned 80 last August, which today is February 13th, I think. Super Bowl Sunday today. It's February 11th, my bad. Um, it is Super Bowl Sunday, Chiefs versus the Niners this, or today, later. Yes, I do live in the Bay Area, but fuck the Niners. And the only reason I say that is because they're playing in the Raiders stadium. I am a Raider fan, have been my entire life, and the Niners championship is not going to come in the Raiders building, not on my watch, so at least I'm not rooting for that. They could have won at any other stadium, and I would root for them, but 
because it's the Raiders Stadium specifically, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Swifty. I'm a Swifty today. I hate to say it, but I'm a Swifty. There's been a lot of hate on the whole Taylor Swift situation. Don't understand why it doesn't affect anyone. You know, a bunch of grown men getting mad about seeing a talented woman on the screen versus just seeing a bunch of guys. It's a little weird, but you know, whatever suits you. Like I said, I've been working a lot of overtime, been really making some serious money now. That part's been great, but you know, my true passion comes with fitness and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, if I don't hit the gym in the morning, it probably will not get done. So that's what I've been doing. I've been sacrificing my sleep and my schedule just to get it done, man. And I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. We are gonna get to the gym and get this workout in. It's a chest day with some biceps. So it's like a push pull type day. So let's get this workout in. Man, I don't even know how I almost forgot this, but last night we was in SF, Lex and I, and we went to the Warrior game. Didn't have plans of going. Ended up meeting with my family out there. And uh, we kind of got convinced to get us some tickets, man. And we seen the craziest game I've ever been to with Steph Curry hitting that go ahead game winner. Crazy three pointer where he just turned around and shot that shit. Absolutely insane. The building went nuts. Um, Chase Center is beautiful. It's not my first game, but you know, shit was crazy. I don't know how I forgot about talking about that, but yeah. Most likely, I'm spicy, you don't like me I'm the best at it, well I might be Oh 
no, you don't know about me. Oh no, you don't wanna doubt me. So cold with this flow about me. So cold like snow around me. Yeah, boy, I'm there, boy. I see through them, it's clear, boy. It's too late, cause I'm here, boy. You heard about me, it ain't fair, boy. Yeah, I be in the Chevy swerving so tight. And I don't give a damn if you don't like it, yeah. Pop up with my fam on it all night. And we don't give a damn if you don't like it, yeah. I be in the Chevy swerving so tight. And I don't give a damn if you don't like it, yeah. Pop up with my fam on it all night. And we don't give a damn if you don't like it, yeah. We don't really care about the gossip. Talk about whatever you wanna talk about. Say whatever you wanna say. Don't nobody really care about none of that. We came in here to win by any means necessary. We came to go hard by any means necessary. Yeah, I be in the Chevy swerving so tight, and I don't give a damn if you don't like it. Yeah, pop up with my fam on it all night. Yo, what is up guys? Just finished the workout, killed that shit. It was a great chest and bicep day. I'm fucking starving now. It's one o'clock right before the Super Bowl. Haven't eaten. All I've had is some honey. Um, so we can go home and make some oats, some protein oats. And uh, we're gonna enjoy the game today. I'm just gonna take you guys along for that. And yeah, my camera died, so I didn't get to film the rest of my cardio. However, I just did sprints and I worked my way up to a faster speed every time. Um, I did intervals of 20 seconds sprinting, 40 seconds rest and repeat. And yeah, so we're starving, we killed it. Let's keep it moving. And this is the hiccup bang. Sit. Look at that. Who's a good boy? Give me Paul. Come on. Give me Paul. High five. Good boy. Lay down. Bang. Now up. Okay. Okay. I don't have any treats. I know. I'm sorry. Look at him now. He is a pit bull and border collie mix. The thing that makes him so special is his nub with your gold chain just like your daddy oh, who's a good boy who's a good boy so the thing that makes hiccup so special is he's missing his paw his back left paw um if you guys have ever seen the movie how to train your dragon you know exactly what i'm talking about the main character's name is hiccup and he loses his left leg or left foot at the end of the movie um the shelter named him hiccup we wanted to name him Bane, so we named him Hiccup in his middle name, Bane, which I thought is perfect, but um, shout out to Lex. Lex is the one who found him. She suggested the name Hiccup Bane, and it was a great idea. Um, we went to go check him out at the Hayward Shelter, and uh, we rescued him. He was only three months when we got him, so you know, he was still really small. We were wondering why nobody had came and picked him up. We rescued him from the shelter because we wanted to rescue a puppy. We thought it'd be good um, to kind of start things off between me and her. Uh, we were both ready to take that step. I wanted a pit bull and he happened to be a pit bull mix. And we just thought he was a perfect dog. And when we went to the shelter, um, he was the only dog in there, not barking, going crazy. He just sat there in front of his cage and just looked at us. And instantly he had stole my heart. I didn't even notice he was missing a pot first. Alexis was the one who pointed it out. And I didn't care. I was willing to do anything. He had snatched my heart both of us he has a prosthetic that we had custom made um i paid a pretty penny for that but um he's worth it man he's been an amazing dog i really thought the puppy stage was gonna be horrible and uh he was really good i couldn't have asked for a better dog he made it very easy on us i like to look at it as we took a chance on him he paid us back with it you know i love that dog with everything you guys probably see the prosthetic later uh when we go over for a uh, super bowl party need someone to hype me up huh Oh, yeah. Not rooting for the Niners, but I got to go with the SF jersey. You know, the Warriors, they've been killing it. We're on our way to go pick up the meal prep right now. So stay healthy, boy. That. Bag secured. Meals for the week right there. Who's your hiccup? Who's your papa? Tracy Wilson. Thanks a lot, Jim. The Chiefs are in the 
Super Bowl because of their defense. They want to win it. And just like that, the Swifties come through clutch. Don't count out Patty Mahomes. And we're gonna go to sleep just right. Or we're gonna go to sleep feeling just right tonight. Got work tomorrow, but we're gonna hit the gym in the AM. So I gotta get to bed, it's 8.30, and I gotta be up at 3.30. So I'll catch you on the next one. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I appreciate you guys. And yeah, and we're gonna keep these videos coming out. So catch you on the next one, peace.